What are my excuses? That's what everybody wants to know. What are my excuses? Let's run through all of my excuses. I want you to listen and see if any of these are yours too. My parents split up when I was young and I spent my summers traveling back and forth from California to Maryland. Not an easy thing to do early on. I was always the smallest kid in my class. I was never the strongest. I always had to fight and battle against guys that were twice my size. I'm trying to hit puberty and they've already got full beards. I'm just trying to get a little armpit hair, right? Never the biggest guy, always the smallest. Always looked down at as, oh, cute little Ryan. Had a coach when I was 11 years old say, Ryan, I don't know if you should try out for that all-star team that you're wanting to do. You're just not big enough, not strong enough, not good enough. And once you get to that big field, that's a long throw from shortstop. I don't know if you're gonna be able to do that. Why don't you try something else? Something more suitable for your size. Played every single inning of every single game my freshman, sophomore year of high school. Junior year, sat the bench 90% of the year until I got my opportunity to play. I still get that running through my head. Maybe you're not good enough. I was the new kid my senior year. I was the new kid. Nobody knows who I am. Trying to step onto a team where they had been runner up the state state championship the previous year. I sat 90% of the season. Brian, I don't know if you're gonna be good enough. I don't know if that's a good idea. Yeah, it's great that you're smart and all, but this dream about playing baseball in college, I don't know if that's gonna work. After junior college, Ryan, uh, I think your career might be over. See, the next level for your ball, that, uh, that's the real deal. That's a whole different ball game. You sure you're big enough? Sure you're strong enough? Because you sure don't throw hard enough. And oh, by the way, that Division I school that you're already, you know, you're going to school there, they don't accept walk-ons. You're not on the team. You're already going to the school and you're not even on the team. And they don't accept walk-ons. Why do you think that you're gonna be any different. You're just like everybody else. You don't really stand out that much compared to those guys. Oh, girlfriends, college. You ever had one cheat on you? Another time that I felt not good enough. After college, get a job. Well, Ryan, you've, you've never done any of this stuff before. Why would they hire you? You don't even have a degree in this. Okay. Wait, Ryan, you got, you got let go? Your company lost its contract? You lost your job? That, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, it does. It makes you do a lot of soul searching, a lot of thinking. Ever been there? Ryan, what are you talking about? You wanna leave this secure job and go chase a, a crazy dream? You're, you're crazy, why would you do that? You've got benefits, you've got security clearances, you, you've got retirement, you've got set. You're crazy, why would you go leave all of that? That's, that's stupid, that's insane. Why would you do that? You mean, there's a lawsuit coming behind me if I decide to go chase this dream? That's a pretty good excuse not to go do something. What else is there? Oh, one of my favorites. You're the single worst business decision I've ever made. I never should have made this deal. That was a pretty good one. That makes you feel good. Makes you want to keep chasing that dream, right? You ever had that told to you? I bet somebody out there has. Oh, I'm gonna get kicked out of my first facility. I'm wanting to expand, instead get kicked out. Yeah, that's a little tough. Searching for a new location after we get kicked out. This is what I heard as I searched for locations. No, 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 nope, nope, no. Okay, that was 13 no's, 13 no's. This was the 14th location we tried to get into. And on number nine, Guess what? I was on my way to that location to sign the paperwork when I got the phone call that said, hey, they decided to lease it to somebody else over the weekend. Talk about a gut punch 
Talk about a good excuse to not keep chasing my dream. See, life is like that, isn't it? I guarantee that I am no different from you. I guarantee there's a lot of you guys right now watching this saying, yep, been there. Yep, been there. Yeah, had that one happen to me too. See, I'm no different than you. I'm no different than you, but what I want you to realize that you have survived every single worst day of your life up to this point. Every single one of them. All that negativity, all those trials, all those uh, challenges and adversity, you've survived and you've grown from them. You have gotten better from them. And that is what this life is meant to be. It's meant to be a transformational process and you are gonna have those tough times, we know that. But I want us to start thinking differently about them. I don't want us to look at those things as, man, that's an excuse that I can hold on to now to not chase my dream. I want this to be uh, uh, something we get excited about and say, woo, yeah, this is another opportunity to grow. I'm growing right now. Because the thing that I didn't tell you is on the other side of every single one of those challenges and opportunities to have an excuse was something great on the other side. It was an opportunity that I grew. There was an opportunity that I decided to step into, lean into, punch that fear in the face, and I leaned into and I decided to grow from it. And you can do the same exact thing. Every single time I had a door slam in my face, something else opened up and I was able to walk through. I was able to jump through. I was able to burpee through. No, I would never do any burpees through the door, but I would maybe do some bicep curls through that door, right? Because we're growing, we're getting better, and that's exactly what we want to do each and every day. So which one of those can you relate to? Which one of those excuses are we holding on to saying, you know what, Brian, you're not big enough? Because guess what? I hear that every single day. I hear it right here in my own head. And I have to scratch it. I have to get rid of it. I've got to punch it in the face every single morning when I wake up and I start doubting myself, when I start doubting the dreams that I have for the size of the impact that I want to make, not just in this community, but across the, the country and across the globe. It's even scary setting that out there and say, I want the impact that we're going to make here to be global. That's scary because somebody's going to think I'm crazy. But what I've learned, good. Good. When I start feeling scared, when I start putting a God-sized goal out there, that's when I know I'm on the right track. That's when I know I'm growing. When I start getting that stinking thinking, that's when I snap my band. I punch it in the face and I put the blinders on and say, nope, I'm focused on my divine purpose. I was made to be something that nobody has ever been before. I'm meant to go places nobody's ever gone before. I'm supposed to be something different than anybody else. I don't need to look left or right and compare myself to anybody else. Even though I have the temptation to start peeking every once in a while, just like I was yesterday, boom, blinders back on. Let's get rocking. Let's get rolling. So my challenge to you today, what are your excuses? List them out. What are the things in your life that you've held on to and that you keep telling yourself over and over again about why you can't be successful, why you can't make the impact that you wanna make, why you can't be a great husband or a great wife or a great father or a great mother or a great son or daughter or brother or sister, why you can't be a great business owner. We have all these things up in our head to tell us why we can't do something but I want you to realize that all those trials, all those adversities are your story and how you are going to relate to somebody, how you're going to coach somebody through it. See, your biggest misery can be your biggest ministry. Oh, your biggest misery in life can become your biggest ministry. And that's why I love the story that I've been living and been writing. See, I want my story. Yes, it's got all that adversity in it, but I want something so great to happen for you after that because of everything that I went through. And I guess I'll probably continue to go through because that's how life is. But you know what? Good. Because that means I get to help more people. So that's what I want you to think about. Running a little long, but I'm getting fired up. I'm sweating. Whew, sleeves are rolling up. So no more excuses, no more excuses, only positive thoughts. Every time you get one of those negative thoughts in there, write it down, cross it out, get rid of it out of that mind. Man, so fired up. Let me know if one of those hit close to home for you, let me know, direct message me. I'd love to help serve you and talk about it and help you through it if that's something you're struggling with. That's why I feel like I am here. My, it is my divine purpose to help you through that because guess what? We're exactly the same. That's why I created Crucible is to help serve people and change their lives from the inside out. And we're no different than you. Come on by, love you, can't wait to serve you. Man, love you guys. God bless you.